Greetings, my friends. Despite having just 25.3 million acres devoted to agriculture and a mere 79,500 active farms, California boasts significantly higher agricultural revenue than Texas. Surpassing the Lone Star State by almost double, California's agricultural earnings reached an impressive $51 billion, compared to Texas' $27 billion, despite Texas having a much larger land area of 127 million acres dedicated to production. If California were an independent country, its agricultural revenue would outshine even developed nations like Germany, Italy, and Mexico. Join us in today's video as we explore the farms and ranches of California, delving into the intricacies of farming and ranching in this economically influential state. Presently, California's agricultural landscape is dominated by a selection of highly sought-after products, including strawberries, grapes, almonds, cattle, and dairy items. Notably, the state is renowned for its expansive vegetable fields where thousands of migrant workers toil during the harvest season. Our focus shifts to a dairy farm in Tulare County, situated in south-central California, where dedicated farm workers are nurturing around 21-month-old dairy calves. Tulare County currently leads the state in dairy cow population, boasting approximately 457,000 cows. Within the barn, numerous additional dairy calves, primarily acquired from neighboring farms, join those raised outdoors. A noteworthy industry practice is separating all dairy calves from their mothers within a mere 24 hours of birth, adhering to standard procedures that not only align with industry norms but also prevent potential infections from exposure to contaminated feces. California consistently claims the title of the state with the largest number of dairy cows in the nation, boasting around 1.75 million cows distributed across 1,100 farms. Wisconsin follows closely behind, housing 1.2 million cows. In the state, the majority of dairy cows are housed on farms, predominantly spending their time in barns. Only approximately 27% of dairy cows in California regularly graze on pastures. The production of silage in California reaches a staggering 13 million tons annually, with about 35% utilized on dairy farms, and the rest predominantly allocated to other livestock farms. Notably, milk has ascended to become California's most valuable agricultural commodity, contributing significantly to the state's economy with a whopping $57.7 billion in generated economic activity. Beyond the economic impact, the California dairy industry also plays a pivotal role in employment, providing approximately 180,000 high-quality jobs year-round. As we bid farewell to the dairy farms, the intricate and vital role they play in California's agricultural tapestry becomes ever more apparent. Embarking on our journey, we now venture into California's horse farms to explore the intricate process of raising hundreds of thousands of horses in the state. According to 2022 statistics from the American Horse Council, California is home to approximately 653,000 horses, including around 7,000 wild horses. This positions the state as the second largest in the nation in terms of horse population, trailing only Texas, which boasts around 939,000 horses. Upon birth, foals spend an initial three days alongside their mothers on the farm before being released into pastures to frolic and learn the art of grazing. The daily sustenance for a foal is significant, requiring 25 to 35 pounds of milk, equivalent to 30% of its body weight. Predominantly, horses in California find their homes in counties such as Ventura, Riverside, and San Diego. Notably, the city of Norco in Riverside County holds the moniker of Horsetown of the United States. Venturing into Ventura County, we witness a daily ritual where ranchers guide approximately 50 horses to pastures two miles from the farm for feeding. Adult horses, needing a daily intake equivalent to 2% of their body weight, rely on a diet primarily composed of grass, 90%, supplemented with a mixture of corn and soybeans upon returning to the farm. In addition to those grazing on pastures, thousands of horses in California are raised on farms, many destined for training to partake in races or contribute to the tourism industry. As the sun sets, dozens of horses return from the pasture to the farm, seeking rest and refuge from potential predators such as coyotes or wild cats. However, our journey takes a somber turn as we encounter a horse-gathering area near the Mexican border. Here, hundreds of horses await transport to horse meat factories in Mexico for slaughter. 
Despite the prohibition of horse meat slaughter in the United States, illegal facilities persist, leading to tens of thousands of horses meeting this fate annually. Despite the complexities and challenges, the horse industry in California plays a substantial role in the state's economy. According to the American Horse Council report, it contributes to the creation of approximately 54,200 direct jobs and a total of 130,200 jobs across the state each year. Our exploration sheds light on the multifaceted nature of California's horse industry, from nurturing foals on idyllic farms to confronting the harsh realities faced by some at the end of their journey. Apart from livestock farms, another noteworthy agricultural product in California is almonds, holding a prominent position in the state's agricultural landscape. Presently, California boasts the largest almond acreage in the United States, encompassing approximately 1.33 million acres and establishing the nation as the foremost global producer of almonds. Almond planting in California typically commences in mid-February and concludes in late March. With over a million acres dedicated to almond cultivation, the state commands an impressive 99.9% .9 share of almond production in the United States. The harvesting process involves shaking hundreds of almond trees, followed by the use of specialized machinery to align and collect billions of almonds before transferring them to dedicated vehicles. According to 2021 USDA statistics, California achieved a substantial almond production of 2.8 million pounds, with 52% earmarked for export, generating a significant revenue of $4.7 billion. Annually, the almond industry in California contributes to the creation of approximately 104,000 jobs, including around 21,000 individuals directly employed on almond farms, underscoring the sector's economic impact and role in employment within the state. Let's delve into the agricultural scene at a garlic field in Northern California's San Joaquin Valley. California, renowned for almonds, also claims the lead in garlic production. In 2021, the state dedicated approximately 24,000 acres to garlic farming, yielding an impressive 376 million pounds, constituting a substantial 91% of the nation's total garlic production. California's garlic industry annually employs around 11,000 individuals, with 7,000 workers directly engaged in the garlic harvest. Shifting our focus across the Atlantic, today we journey to the United Kingdom, a country regarded as a key ally of the United States. Exploring the agricultural and livestock farming practices of British farmers, we find a landscape defined by its agricultural statistics. In 2021, the UK boasted about 216,000 active farms scattered across the nation, utilizing approximately 23.2 million acres for agricultural purposes, covering a notable 71% of the entire territory. Recent trends indicate a concentration of crop farms in the eastern region, while livestock farms are predominantly situated in the western region of the UK. Presently, agricultural operations in the UK center around wheat, barley, as well as fruit and vegetable production, highlighting the diverse range of activities occurring on farms across the country. The leading states in carrot production are California, Washington, and Texas, with California contributing over 85% of the total carrot yield in the United States. Farmers adapt their planting times and methods based on factors such as area, climate, temperature, plant variety, and market demands. Carrots, traditionally a biennial crop, typically develop a small reserve root in winter. As the cold climate subsides in the following spring, this root grows into stems, flowers, and tubers, ultimately harvested in the fall. However, contemporary commercial farming often involves annual carrot cultivation. Ideal for growth in sandy, mineral, and organic soils, carrots require loose soil layers, usually 30 to 40 inches deep, before planting. Ensuring proper moisture and drainage is crucial for successful cultivation. Farmers have observed the sensitivity of carrot roots to soil compaction, particularly in areas where weeds create obstacles, hindering root penetration and reducing yields. Consequently, during the initial three to four weeks, farmers limit the use of equipment in carrot fields. Thanks for watching together, let's continue to push the boundaries of what's possible and shape the future of our planet. Keep checking back for more updates on the technologies that are driving our world forward.